Time to do, do an update on that 19 inch rack for the batteries, right? The last one that they sent me didn't have uh, a way to put wheels on the bottom. And that is something that is very attractive because once you set up your uh, batteries on this rack, it's, it's useful to be able to wheel it around, to move it around. So they reached out to me and they said that they're gonna send me another one, the future one that they were working on that does have the ability to put wheels. And so this is it. So I am gonna take it and I'm gonna put it together. Again, it doesn't, these don't ship with any instructions, but these are easy to put together. You get 10 pieces like this, and then you get 10 pieces like that, and they're very easily to tell apart, they're different. And then you get four of the, the long pieces that go up and down. All right, so now it's easy to tell which one's the bottom because it's got this big, thick piece of steel that is uh, welded on the bottom, which is what the other ones needed. So let's put it together. All right, so I did the same thing as last time, which is build these little ladders. Here's a quick way to tell which one is the front and which one is the back, right? So when you make one of these, you gotta have uh, a front and a back because these are the sides. And the easy way to tell is the fronts have these little holes, the square holes, and the backs don't. So you gotta do one with the square holes and then one without, and then you put them like that. And also the way you put them, these ones right here, these are those L's. Um, you put them on the holes that don't have a front hole. So this is side holes. These only mount on the side, but the other ones, those have holes, mounting holes, both on the side here and in the front. And so that's why you don't mount those here on the bottom. So once you make those two, now you start putting those in there. All right, so all of these are screwed on now. The last thing to do, casters right here. So let's do that now. All right, so there it is. The last thing to do is just to put those little nuts in here and then load it up with batteries. I'm gonna bring the old one and I'm gonna transfer the batteries from there to here to see how these wheels, well, how they stand up to all the weight because these batteries that are going here, they're pretty, pretty heavy. All right, so here is the new racked right up against the old rack. And I guess there's good things and there's bad things. Uh, one of the good things is that it's smaller, but it's also a bad thing because if you had the bigger batteries then in the old one, you can, you know, you can put them in there, right? So, so it has room in here to put the bigger batteries. Uh, this one, I don't think it does. That's why it's shorter. Uh, so you're just gonna be able to do this size batteries in there. The wheels seem like they might be too small, but the only way to test that is to actually change those batteries put them in here put the full weight on that and then see it as you can see the the wheels that we ended up putting in here they were pretty big and beefy but even like that it's uh it, this is flexing quite a bit so we've yet to see how good these wheels are once we put weight so let's change that it's going to take a bit of work but let's Transfer these batteries, put them in here, see how that does. One hour later. Bam, here we are. Okay, furthermore benefits from this. Look, one of the good things is that it sits lower because the wheels are built in instead of, uh, you know, has having to do this hack or whatever. So as a result of that, it's not only smaller than the other rack, but you can fit another uh, battery in there. So this is a five battery rack and this is a four battery rack so it's bigger and it fits less of course you can fit bigger batteries in there right and so you probably put about the same amount of battery in here but you still end up bigger than this one so this one you could do 25 kilowatt um and here are the wheels that seem like maybe they were not gonna be strong it doesn't seem to be a problem look at that this rolls pretty nice i'm doing it with one hand this is a lot. This is like almost 400 pounds right here because these 
This is 20 kilowatt hours worth of batteries. So there we go. This rack is definitely an improvement from this one, in my opinion, right? Unless you need the bigger batteries, and then this one is probably be the, and you're, you don't mind it for it being um, stationary. This is the clear way to go. The next video that I'm gonna make, I'm gonna show you how to connect this, make this rack into a standalone 20 kilowatt hour battery, uh, home battery that you can just connect and then power your entire house. And I'm gonna do that by installing this six kilowatt inverter on the side here, and then just have those cables connect into a uh, transfer switch right there, right? So stay tuned for that video. Because right now, this rack is available at, uh, well, Jackepers Battery website, which I think it's uh, opsolar.com. Uh, I'll put the link in the description of this video. Pretty nice rack. Totally recommend this. Uh, having this on wheels, it's a game changer. I love it. Okay, bye.